Welcome to week 4 of our restoration projects. With our new action plan in mind, we focused fully on the engine bay. First, I removed the larger debris and loose paint with a steel brush. Next, I removed some more paint with an angle grinder. Then with an electronic sander. By the way, I found a little time witness. A label put on by some boating accessories retailer in Groningen, the Netherlands, most likely long gone since then. Anyway, moving on. Once all the loose and bad paint was removed, it was time to apply some rust converter on the affected areas. After letting this cure for a few days, I went back and gave it another go with the electronic sander and finally I sanded every inch by hand. Alright, so this is the condition of the engine room before I'm starting to paint and I know, I know, you're supposed to strip the paint completely if it's not in good condition, but I mean, I've used an angle grinder, I've used an electronic sanding tool, I've sanded by hand and whatever paint is not removed by now will probably also not come off in the next year or two. And then there are just areas where I just plain couldn't reach. Plus at the end of the day, it's the engine room. So on most of the painted areas, nobody will ever step or will ever be touched. So that's perfectly fine for me. What I did do, however, is treat all the rusty areas with rust converter so that the rust doesn't continue to expand in those areas. And I guess that's the most important part. So if the paint is not perfect, ah, that's okay for me. Last thing before painting is to give it a quick run with the vacuum cleaner. I decided to paint Danboline bilge paint directly without any primer. Some of you may want to crucify me for that and you're probably right. Well, if I have to redo the paint job again after a couple of years, then that's fine with me. For now, I just wanted to move on quickly. Anyway, now for what's coming next, you might want to crucify me a second time, because I forgot my phone and laptop charger, so I couldn't film the painting process itself. Instead, in order to distract you from this disappointment, let me show you how I spent a really, really cold night in below freezing temperatures, and how I had my coffee in the next morning. And now? Without further ado, here is the result after two layers of paint. The other construction site we worked on is the rear cabin, specifically removing the old rusty exhaust pipe Next, back to my favorite task, which is digging around in the boat's ballast. I had a chance to try out a new tool, which is a wood cutting disc for an angle grinder. To be used with extreme caution, because this thing is fierce. Alright, the floor panels have been removed and this is what it looks like underneath. You can see there's quite some water in there and there's also quite some heavy rust. 
overall. I guess it looks worse than it actually is, but I'm probably not gonna get around like removing all the rust and painting this this entire hull hull from from the boat. Which initially I, I hoped I didn't have to do, but what I see now just it wouldn't be safe to not do it. All right, I got good news. I finally reached the bottom of the hull. Yeah, and it seems to be in good condition. This being said, I'm still gonna have to remove all these ligands and then we'll see if we replace them with something else or uh, if we just let them dry and put them back in. All right, that's the end of week number four. I feel like we made a big leap forward and as usual, we thank you for watching and hope to see you again next week.